Welcome back to the Beginner's Guide. My name's Four Mile, and I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I figured I'd pick up where we left off last time. Um, last episode, we left off in the room of a bunch of quirky ideas for video games. So we are going to pick up from there, I believe. So the next one was Puzzle. All right, here we go. Let's see what's in store. I'm really glad that you guys took to this. I, I do appreciate you guys appreciating me doing <laughs> this. So let's see. I'm, whoa, hi. I'm actually going to turn up the volume a little bit here. Okay, so ominous concrete structure. No weapons. Just movement. Okay. Pop! Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Um. There seems to be no way to solve this puzzle. I did not even realize it was a puzzle. Unless I'm supposed to go in here. Oh, cool. There we go. Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're going to see it a lot. Okay. Well, I like the water sound effects in the background, but I do not understand. Can I close you? These textures are nice, I guess. I so mean, that this seems is a to be it, right? Nice space. You walk down a corridor, you solve the puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. All right, now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. Whoa! Um, there was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? I... Oh, hey, we're back here again. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. Okay. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Okay. Let's talk Getting about a... video game development for a second. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Okay. To so make this... all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does Whoa. very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because <laughs> he's is... working with what the engine does well. Oh, whatever. The tools whoa, available whoa, to the creator whoa. shape what kinds of creative whoa. work they're going to end up making. 
No, you no. You might consider hi. paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing. So I think I skipped ahead a bit. Corridors. I want to go in. Oh, okay, I can. Ooh. Okay, glitchy portal mu music. Oh, I'm just a pig in a pen then, aren't I? Yes, I am. Nope, getting off. Okay, not allowed to get off. I'm not. Oh, this what? Prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Yeah. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Ooh, we sassy. Every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. I like sassy Coda. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice. Pimp. It's the oh, puzzle hey. again. Yeah, it is. the exact same solution as the last time. Okay. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. This is just nice world building. Oh, we're back where we started? Okay. Creepy, why is there a fireplace sound if there's no fireplace? Oh, there is a fireplace, kind of. What, 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 hi. Here, Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before coming here. Again, perfect. Now, please, tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. Trust me, you don't want to go over there. Oh, no, but I do. We do. We need to get there. Do you understand? It's the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you, there is nothing I want more. Um. Oh, cool. Bad. I like this. Oh no! I've been right here this entire time. So it's just going backward over and over and over and over again. What happens if I solve it? Not sure, but if I have any suspicion, what you find won't be what it ta won't be worth what it takes. Okay, fine. I just won't read it all the way through. Okay, cool. I just, I can see where he, this is all becoming a lot more philosophical than the and previous so we make one puzzles. Last descent down to the final floor of the level. Okay. Ooh, spooky corridor. Such spoop. Much co- Orador. Nice! I like it. It's a lamppost. It is a lamppost. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. 
Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. Okay. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. This is really fun. I mean, it's 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 interesting. It's I'm reading a book as I play this game, which is but this game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Okay, why? That is a weird vantage point to start off in. Nice room. Not. Oh, that's mean. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. Uh. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, no point to and this. it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. Dang! In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, you guys hear me? I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I reasonable off eventually. Everyone oh, read Feel free this. to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra this is gonna happen if you sad. read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings <gasps> and beliefs and has no way to express How them. How is there wood except this <laughs> grass and concrete here? What the fuck? In a game that wasn't meant to be played. Birds. Nah. That's the sound I but made this morning when I woke up. <laughs> in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get oh to my know God. him and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much. is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. Yeah, I could see that. The guy over there wrote much wrong. Jeez, I'm just gonna jump down. Oh, I can't jump down. Okay. Bloop! This is just very entertaining. This one in particular makes me happy until you read all of it. I just saw a penguin fl a flying pen. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see everything and nothing. I'm living beautiful again. I'm crying and blinding every eyes. I was gonna do that. It gets sad by the end. <laughs> what the shit is this cavern? Well said. Though I like all those notes in the in the background. Boring. I can assure you, guaranteed, that there is an acorn somewhere here in this place, and the sailors are looking for it. He's got so many ideas that he's never he doesn't seem to have capitalized on. I refuse to believe. I want to believe. But butt ass butt. I need to go to the frickin' bathroom. <laughs> Recognize me, please. Senpai! Recognize me! You know, I'm gonna keep going. Don't listen to that guy. A free t-shirt! Need other side door, why you so? Makes game, includes door, can it open door, thanks. Open sesame. Door, how open? Okay. Someday I will meet the person who made this. I help people because of the internal, internal good feeling I get. I am not reading all of these notes. I failed to write anything here, he wrote. 
And this is just a very nice bow. Oh, so he creates like a centerpiece for people to to remark upon. Oh, so this whole cavern isn't just you know make your way through and try to beat the game. It's it's very much a a talking point. It is making the players a part of the game, and they leave their notes, or would have left their notes, as a part of the art. Who are all of you? We were I just say. Spoilers, it doesn't mean anything. Cabbage shapes our nation. Just abstract art. It's about how this game is pretentious and you all suck. <laughs> ha! Maybe I'll feel real someday. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. This is just a nice game. This is nothing. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle I can't means. skip it. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you guys, it's pause. not so bad in here. <laughs> Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here, to step back and connect the pieces together, to grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Typewriters? How do you leave notes? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Porn okay, this one died is tough. too. It's going to kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Why is it tough? Ooh, that's a nice design. I like that. Okay. <coughs> Gonna spin its own wheels for a minute, huh? Oh, 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 See, oh, like, oh! This is it, the whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. Oh. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's going to start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. What? But why? Uh, put, put a giant hole in the ground. What? Uh... <laughs> Let's put a huge picture of a horse. Okay, or not. Fine. I'm thinking a 10 by 12 recessed electric 6 inch soft LED ceiling lights with fluorescent trim. Or fucking that. Sure, why not? I had a table. I do need a table. Who are you? Where exactly are you doing this from? That doesn't quite fit the aesthetic. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. Yeah, a little bit. So, okay, Look, oh. he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello, please walk forward. Fuck you! 
I'm walking backwards! Oh, I can't do anything but walk forward. Okay, well, I'm gonna... This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care of that first click on this table. Good, go over to the photo frame and click it tightly. Now, turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Floor lamp. Now go to the left side sofa. Move it over a little. Finally, touch the shelves. That's it! In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. I did it, I think. Oh, wait, oh, wait. And of uh, course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to yeah. escape. Yeah. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense Whoa. against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something, and he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Okay. Well, it's a little dark. <laughs> Is that a phone booth? What is this? <laughs> Creepy as fuck! What was that? You all heard that. You all heard that! What was that? Oh, is the door just... Hey, it's me! I'm you from after you escaped the prison! You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Yep, I was in the future ma furniture maze. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But it feels like being- that Even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. No, I'm really the same person now as I was back then. Well, you get something else in exchange. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Yes, I did get that call. That's how I escaped. What did they tell you? What did you have to do to get out? All they told me was to be sincere. What? <laughs> Just be sincere. Sincere about what? Your feelings, man. That's exactly what you need to figure out in order to escape. Oh, so Coda is... Just so alone. And suffering from loneliness. I can see loneliness. why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? I don't even have to comment on anything. The narrator's just gonna do it for me. Like, this is so well done. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle. With the two doors on either side, 
and a dark transitional space between. Huh. I would love to live someplace like this. Are you kidding me? This is so cool. Oh man, all this- What? All this minimalist stuff? Oh, I love it. What is the glass doing and the stuff? I mean, there'd be sand everywhere. Well, my goodness, I'm glad as heck that you showed up. Though I might have been cleaning this entire house all by myself. And right miserable that I would have been. <laughs> Everyone knows lones a man's make lousy you homes. The quality of the art is a step up from previous games. Yeah, no kidding. Including wow. this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, I just did a four hour DJ set, so I'm kind of wiped. <laughs> Are we cleaning this whole place? That's the store, little one. We'll be through all this mess in no time. I promise you'll wish there was more. Why don't I finish up here? In the meantime, could you please clear the table? I will, I cleared the table. I'm so happy I could jump. Much nicer, the table I want to see. Now would you please run in the bedroom and make the bed? Make me. Dang. While you're in there, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? Done. All the little details matter. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Because it kind of seems like a shit job to me. But then again, I'm not a house cleaner. So, house cleaners might make like buku bucks and stuff. I don't know. Oh, I don't enjoy it so much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel a kind of calm that rests in the pit of my ribcage. My soul just can't be soothed any other way, it seems. Which I guess is all the better. Oh, that and a tidy couch. Would you straighten the pillows on the couch so far thing? Reading? Because I'm good at that. Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. Sure, whatever you say, British lady, that I'm making up in my head. I feel compelled to share an increase, incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. <laughs> no! Well, fuck you then. No, it was stupid, sorry. Never mind. Oh, well, then don't fuck you. Be more sincere. Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? I will. Fine. Um, I think it's a little odd that I just made you a woman, even though you don't seem to have any womanly features at all, just because you're a house cleaner. I think that's a little wrong of me, but also... Uh... Oh, lest I check the tub needed cleaning. Formal's gonna go on an introspective search of his whole gender identity issues. Why don't we just tackle that right now in a let's play? Sure, why not? <laughs> Isn't it a little early to be assigning gender roles? Lest I check the tub needed cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best you can? No need to be perfect, we're all just human. It looks kind of perfect to me. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, would you put them back on the shelf? So what would have happened if I had just gone up to the door? Also, I'm liking how calm this is. Now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off the table? After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Do these chores ever end? Darling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you have to absolutely own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So why don't we be with the task at hand and leave the future chores to future you? Present you... I know that Koda... Really present you what smooth... Oh, okay, whatever. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Aww. Are we done? Because I really like this space. Like, I wouldn't mind living in a place like this. I really wouldn't. I've always, like, I've, I've wanted to... Oh, oh, smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Trust me on this one. So, I've, uh, I would, I, I would love to live in a place like this. And I've always, like, 
wanted to do world building exercises where I could just, you know, as I'm falling asleep or something, create a world in my head where it looks something like this. Like it looks something so fantastic is this. And I, I it's always, I felt it's always limited, but seeing it like this, I almost kind of want to take up game development, at least with the source engine, maybe just a little bit. Would you mind tidying it up a bit? I already did, so. Oh, the tub, okay. It just goes on and on and on, right? I was going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is like a soul. You take care of it and it takes you. Heh. Don't know why I felt so weird spaying that. Spaying that, saying that, wow. <laughs> uh, words, I'm good with words. I get it, it's a weird thing to say to someone you just met. Anyway, so, housekeeping, let's keep doing this. Books, would you please, would you please clean up the books? Thanks. Man, I am just failing at the English language today, but I really like this, this experience, because this isn't just a game, this is an experience. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad Me he too. found some peace. I, yeah. I, this is this this is really calming. Like I'm having, I'm enjoying this. I'm not having fun, but it's not a waste of time. It's an experience. Question. But of course, you enjoy it can't last. Oh, the music man, stops. Your companion is gone. It's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Oh. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. This is true. I, yeah, no, I'm glad I got to answer that question before the figure went away. The arbitrarily assigned gender rule figure that I, ha, okay. Anyway, but yeah, I'm glad I got to answer that question. I did enjoy that. That was actually enjoyable. It was something that was mundane, but peaceful. I, I feel like I needed that. And I didn't realize I Which needed Which is the that. whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Yeah. I really thought that was the point of it. Oh yeah, nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna go back to the menu here. Because uh simply put, I'm out of time for this episode, but Thanks for watching this episode of Beginner's Guide. My name's Four Mile. Like and subscribe uh, to see more of this game. I'm definitely going to finish this game in the next few episodes. Also, comment on what you thought about this game, your thoughts on the different levels. I'd love to read them. I love responding to them. Um, other than that, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.